Hello, my name's Ken Knight. I'm from Princess Motor Yacht Sales. We're here on a sunny morning in Swanwick Marina to have a look at the V45 No Stress. No Stress is a 2009 build, 2010 model, and it's a lovely example. It's one owner from new. I'd really like to show you around, so let's go and have a look. So here we are stepping on the aft deck of No Stress, and uh, you know this V45 is a really sought after model. It retains those really lovely, classic princess sporty lines of a V-series yacht, sleek and slender. But within this model, it packs a lot in. So at the aft deck here, we've got a Williams uh, 285. You have to slightly deflate the tubes at the, at the bow in order to fit that in, but it's a really good size tender for a vessel of this size. Uh, the garage opens up, which we'll show you, uh, and the owner has got a clever inflation system to make it really easy for launch and recovery as well. So here we are at the stern of the boat and it's a real treat to have a garage on a boat of this size. What this garage houses is a Williams Turbojet 285. You have to slightly deflate the tubes at the bow there just to accommodate this good sized tender but um, it's very easy to launch and it's been set up in a really smart way by the owner. So we've got an inflator here which we just plug into the tube and we can start that to, uh, to aid inflation. We've also got the battery on a trickle charger um, so there's an electrical points being put in here and then you've got the winch controls which you've got on a remote control there but equally on this one you can use the button underneath the inflator to start launching of the boat. To launch it we just flick this uh, guide rail over at the back here and then we use the winch control to lower the boat out and uh, it's a powerful tender this so you could use this for water sports um, which is great for a boat of this size and uh, the next owner is sure to enjoy it. So the whole of the cockpit here has been re-upholstered in 2020. Uh, it's been used a, with a Silvertex material, which is an industry standard. It's a weatherproof material. It's great for outside. But the colour of it's been done very sy sympathetically um, within a grey, which gives it a very youthful, modern appeal. And he's also updated the canvas here, this aft closing kit, which uh, will shroud this area uh, if it's in inclement weather. It's in a nice sort of steel black. Uh, which matches the really dark blue of the hull. Looks for a very smart contemporary look. As we step forward, um, we just go past the shower, which is down by my feet there for any swimming or water sports uh, that you might want to do on the boat. And then we step into a really large, generous cockpit. Um, it's just a really lovely space to be. We've got this large curved seating uh, table, which uh, can unfurl or, or fold away. And there's also on hydraulic uh, legs as well so you can collapse that down and make an even bigger sun pad if the triple there is not enough for you. As we go forward here we've got an outside galley on the port side aft quarter. We've got a lovely griddle area here for entertaining with a sink and then large fridge to house uh, lots of drinks. We've got the large opening uh, electric roof here so come, come rain come shine you can always enjoy your time on board. So here we are at the helm station of the V45, starboard side, twin seat, pilot, co-pilot seat with a, with a bolster which can lift up. It gives you a variety of sort of seating positions. Some people like to stand up and try and look out over the roof. Personally, I enjoy sitting down, being a bit more relaxed and I find that gives me the best visibility. We've got this electric window on the starboard side which really aids communication with crew. When you come into dock, it gives you a real visual reference to where you are with berthing just makes you look that much more professional rather than have to raise your voice. This boat is fitted with the Volvo Penta D6 370s. They've recently been serviced by our service department. So the engines, the outdrives with the bellows have been changed. And also interestingly, she's been fitted with uh, stainless steel props. So the four props on these boats, uh, each outdrive has got the duo drive. So you've got uh, two props going in different directions. Gives you excellent purchase and drive through the water. Um, and also with being out drives, you're thrust vectoring the direction that the boat uh, goes, so you've got a lot of control. Talking of control, um, over and above the throttles, the bow thruster, we've also got a joystick, which is very much commonplace these days, but when this boat was constructed, it had been a real big cutting edge option that the owner chose, 
So whether you're a novice or a really experienced helm, you'll find a way to, uh, to manage this boat in close quarters with, with confidence. Talking of mechanical options, um, one of the retrofit items that this owner has fitted is a Seakeeper which is a gyro stabilisation system. It's a large expensive option that's been retrofitted. It's uh, fitted down the engine bay and that's also coupled with a whisper generator which can uh, allow it to spool up. But the stability that will give you on this boat when she's in a seaway um, will be quite remarkable and I doubt there are many B-series yachts out there of this generation with, uh, with that option fitted. Other things we've got at the dashboard here, we've got the Raymarine plotter which has got Raymarine um, radar plugged into that as well. Useful little option is also this CCTV uh, camera which is aft facing so when you come into dock that last few meters when you're maybe struggling to see uh, get really good visibility of that dock over the sun pads you can just refer to the screen there to just see that last couple of meters in. We've also got a suite of uh, things you'd expect autopilot, our Raymarine multifunction displays with depth and boat speed and then a suite of Volvo instruments with uh, RPM our levels, fuel level critically, and also the angle that the outdrives are set at. This boat would have originally had the Bird Walnut dashboard, but this owner's kept this boat bang up to date, and so we've got this lovely carbon fibre uh, weave dashboard on, on both sections. Just makes it feel very youthful and uh, yeah, kept, kept up with the times. Let's go and have a look down below. So here we are down below on No Stress. And straight away the thing that strikes me is just how well cared for this boat has been. Outside it's clear and it certainly is inside down below here. The areas are sort of potential high wear, edge of joinery, I can't see any marks. Um, also on the leather hand rail which is prone to sort of scuffing, just both in excellent order and just shows how well cared for this boat has, uh, has been. This cherry gloss interior is just adds that touch of class to the boat, it's very enduring and um, it's just lovely. It gives a real sense of presence with the gloss finish. We've got a nice arrangement down here. We've got two cabins. We've got an island berth uh, forward for the master and then the second cabin aft, um, which can be configured either as a twin or the berths can be slid together to make a double. So you've got lots of flexibility as to how you use the boat. But critically, both cabins have got en suites. So it's really nice that you can have two couples on board and retain some privacy. If that's not enough accommodation for you, we've also got this generous U-shaped seating on the starboard side. The table's on a telescopic leg, so that can collapse down, and there's a neatly stowed cushion um, which can come out, go on top, and create another berth. So just a really versatile use of the space. We've got the galley on the port side here. It's a U-shaped galley, um, which is really nice. It's got a three-burner ceramic hob on the top. We've got a grill microwave down below, large fridge, and then twin bowl sinks um, to complete it. One of the really nice features about how this boat has been set up is that you do not need the generator or the shore power to drive this equipment. She's got a larger battery bank with a big inverter on board, so those coupled together allow you to power these appliances without having to start a generator, which just shows the experience of a, an owner that's had his boat from new. We've also got heating fitted on this boat, so if, uh, if it's in UK and it's a little bit cooler in the, uh, in the winter months, which can be with some great cruising, less people on the water, then you can enjoy the boat there as well. I think what we'll do is we'll go up on deck and uh, have, a, have a final summary. Thank you for joining me today on the V45 No Stress. I hope you enjoyed it. She is a lovely example of a popular model, a one owner from New Boat, diligently looked after, and it really shows, and I hope that comes across in this video. If you'd like to find out more, please do visit our website where you'll find a virtual tour, full suite of photos, and importantly, the price on this UK VAT paid vessel, uh, which is ready for the summer's cruising. Ooh.